Trading Monkey, day trading live this morning on stock AWSM. Let me give you a couple of highlights about the stock here. Today, the stock closed at $2.31. So far, since the market's been open, since the market's been open, it's got to a high of $2.96. It's 10.31. The market's been open an hour and one minute. As soon as I press the play button, we're going to see all the action live. There's my one minute chart, five minute chart, 15 minute chart, level two time and sales. I don't even know what to say today. Not following my rules, not following my strategy, not following my risk, not stop following my profit target. The same old song and dance. It gets old. I'm not even going to tell you all about it because I have some very exciting news I want to get to. But anyways, today's Friday. I'm supposed to take two trades tops and I'm done. Today, I did not follow my rules. I ended up taking three trades. Two losers, one winner. And on the winner, I'm very proud of it because I did stick to my profit target and that's the one I caught live. I'll tell you about my first two trades. My first trade happened in the pre-market. I'm doing some pre-market testing. The trade did not work out. It was a red trade. The second trade happened at the market open, actually on AWSM. I did not wait for the first 30 seconds even, did not follow my setups, my strategies, nothing. And of course, that was a loser. So I'm down $26 on the day. My third trade, we'll get to it here in just a minute. But before there, I want to tell you about my news. Monday, the live stream is going live. What will you see in the live stream? You'll see exactly what you do in my videos. My orders, my entries, my exits, my charts, my time and sales level two every single day. Who will be there with me? My friend, fellow YouTuber, fellow day trader, a little bit more experienced trader than me. He'll be there right alongside me. It's going to be from the pre-market through the open, maybe to 9.45 to 10 o'clock. There's a little chat box on the side, so everybody's going to be included. We'll all talk. We'll all gather. We'll all watch the market and do it all live. I'm not scared. Are you? Hopefully you can join us. It's going to be a great thing. Now onto the live action. I did not re press record before I entered the trade, so I'm going to have to set this up for you. I was seeing it was building a base right there around 284. I was kind of thinking maybe it would do the drop fake and pop boom. Maybe drop fake into the 281 to 278. I actually bought 200 shares at 287 right there that little green arrow I actually when I pressed the buy button it was at 284 but it jumped up to 287 so I got filled there that little red arrow you see there is not my sell but it's actually in hard stop I put a hard stop at 281 when you do a market order hard stop with DOS trader for some reason it puts your little red arrow up there but anyway, my hard stop's at 281, so if it comes down to 281, it will sell me out immediately. It made me feel super comfortable not having to worry about anything, so it let me stick to my profit target a lot easier. I'm very proud of this trade, so now let's see my exit live action. Click one, two, it's 1031, so the market's been open. One hour, one minute. I've been watching this thing since the open like a hawk. I did a little bit of research on this stock, so I have some preconceived notions what I believe this stock will do. So my profit target, if you notice, up by 297, I have a daily support resistance line. This time, I'm going to wait for the break at 3. Usually when it breaks through 3, it will go to like 305, 306, 308, 303. So that's what I was going to wait for. I'm not selling before then. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not touching the mouse. I'm not accidentally clicking out. The volume's a little low, but there is some volume in here. There were some eyes on this. I think people seen it, and it kept getting tighter, a little bit tighter and tighter, bouncing in between there. And I kind of could see the strength in there. There was a little strength in it. So I thought, oh, it's going to really push through that three. I actually thought it could get up towards 320, but I just wanted to get a green trade. I'm already broke my rules by taking this trade. So after this trade, I'm going, okay, if this works out, I'm, oh, here we go. Here we go. 293. Usually I would sell right here and go plus 10 bucks, paid for commissions. That's good. Not even sticking to my profit target. But this time, I'm not going away without my profit. Boom, boom, boom. Look, 298, 299. 
Three dollars, come on, come on, come on, come on. Three dollars, break a three, boom. I sell right there, 303 plus 16 cents. Turn my red day into a green day plus six bucks on the day. Before commissions, before commissions. The commissions are killing me. But if you take a look at this trade, this was a beautiful trade to me. Beautiful trade, finally sticking to one of my strategies. Finally, it's working out. I need to not be living on a hope and a prayer and really just stick to my strategies, which I know work the right amount of time for me to become a profitable trader. You can't just be buying and selling wherever the hell you want. You got to be, look at this thing still pushing, boom, 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 boom. Look on the 15 minute chart. You can see around 320 right there. I'm going to draw a line for you. It looks like it was trying to get bought up right there on those red candles and it was bouncing a couple times. That That's a huge key point of interest to me, that 320. So I was thinking after it broke over the $3, if I could get in again down by $3 and wait for the push up towards 320, that's what I would do. But look at the sellers in that candle. It looked like there was huge sellers, a long wick on the top. So I was just being patient. Plus, it's Friday, and I told myself, if I get a green trade on this trade, I am completely done. I need to stop this boulder in its tracks. I started rolling downhill, and I didn't think I could stop myself. That's what happens on losing days. You just start getting so irked, you just start pressing the buy. Boom, I'm going to make my money back. Boom, this time, boom. And then you turn it into gambling and not even your strategy. You just start buying and selling, buying and selling. And the next thing you know, you can't even afford to buy a hamburger at McDonald's anymore. Look at this thing. Boom, boom, boom. As you're listening to me, please watch the level two time and sales. Look at this volume. Look on those last two candles, how much volume there was. Like over 150,000 worth of volume. Where'd those people come from? They were waiting for that breakout. They probably had an alert set for if it pushed over $3 or something. Something people had alert because they came right over here and jumped right on. So once they're here, they're probably going, oh, are they short sellers? Are they long bias traders? You really got to try to figure that out. But it looks like the short bias traders may be starting a position here or maybe waiting for it to get up. They look at daily support resistance levels. So try to really look at both sides of the trade. That's what I'm trying to do now. My main focus still is sticking to my profit target. I did it today. Can I do it again? The next time you see me is going to be live action.